Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dev AV Club, and if you have not seen the end of The Mandalorian, big, big spoilers. So if you don't click off the video right now, it's all over. So uh, everybody's talking about this Luke guy. Um, Corridor Crew had a really good thing about this fake Luke here. How about how they had a stand-in actor who looked similar to Mark Hamill, uh, the actor who normally plays Luke, and they, how they did some sort of custom Disney deep fake style face drawing computer algorithm to draw Mark Hamill's old face on top of Luke. Uh, that's their speculation. They're not exactly sure, but they do have a lot of good reasons to believe that. They actually tried to redo it because they were like, this Luke is almost good, but you know, he has a couple of problems. Like one, his eyes, they just look dead inside right because he's fake this is a fake person and also he's really really not very sharp looking just got this like kind of fuzz out of focus look um which isn't the true for the rest of it so it's not the lens or something that's doing that or it, this guy like you can see every hair in this little tiny screen and the rip i did of it and the rip i did of it you can see every little hair but still with luke his hair doesn't really define um and so those are two issues also third issue his uh the lights and shadows on his face are very soft uh when everyone else has very hard lighting on them well not very hard lighting but harsher lighting on their face so those are three issues that the corridor crew pointed out and the way they tried to fix it was they were just like here let's redo the entire deep face and they did pretty good but uh, that's a video I'll link it below if you've not seen it. it's a very good video um, we're not gonna do that we're gonna fix Luke Skywalker a different way we're just gonna try and directly fix the issues we're going to try to read map his lazy eyes we're going to try to uh, sharpen his face up to make it look a little more like the rest of the cast and crew here it really oh gosh it really is just so soft like I keep wanting to go to my render settings and make sure that's on full but it is this is out of focus and this is out of focus so this is supposed to be in focus right um, but it's just it's just not so if we're gonna fix that with uh, we're gonna start with this unsharp mask so I went to my effects and grabbed this unsharp mask I'm gonna drag it on here and um, with the medium on sharp mask, it does a lot to fix it, but it kind of ruins the footage as well. Like it sharpens up the background stuff too. We're going to fix that. We're not going to let it sharpen the whole thing. But first, let's just kind of play with it and figure out just the minimum amount we need. Oh, I still have it toggled off. I was like, I don't see it. Okay. So the reason I'm using the unsharp mask is because I want it to just, uh, we talked about this in another video, I want it to just focus on the uh, already apparent lines. I don't want to sharpen every single pixel on it. Uh, I want it to kind of just sharpen up the already uh, fuzzy kind of hard, hard lines of his face. Make it just appear like the camera locked on the focus a little bit better. So I think that's about the best I can do without making it look odd. Uh, I might have to tone it down a little bit as we perfect it, um, but let's move on. So now let's go to the Bezier masking and let's just mask, make it to where only his face is being sharpened. So that way we're not sharpening up the background and Baby Yoda as well. Bezier masking and we're going to grab a circle and drop it here and boom, we're going to kind of find Luke's face and size it to kind of be roughly just right on Luke's face here. And we're going to feather it get this mask one we're working with we're gonna feather it a lot so that way the sharpening doesn't really leave his face much so there we go and now what we're gonna do instead of just masking the whole thing uh, what we're gonna do is just mask the effect only so now if you check it out only his face is being sharpened now his face moves a little bit we can motion track that actually so we're gonna do that real fast we're gonna add a motion tracking effect and just make sure it stays right on his face uh, because I'm too lazy to keyframe it so we're gonna grab that there just we'll do 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 actually yeah we're just gonna kind of focus right here on his face and then um, Go ahead and right click motion tracking. We're going to track forward. So that actually worked pretty good. Um, you'll see probably the next frame. Yep, it got lost the plot when I moved. 
Let's go ahead and make a cut there when I move to the what was not Luke Skywalker. So now we've got his face motion tracked. Boom. Simple enough. Now let's uh, take this motion tracking data and we're going to add it to the Bezier masking. And so now follows, let's double check here, but yeah, ooh, boom, Bezier masking. There we go. That actually, I think that helped a lot. Let's get a reference shot. So this is Luke pre-sharpening. Ooh, gosh, it just, and this is Luke post-sharpening. Yes, the sharpening is a little too much. I'm going to dial it in over time just a touch. All right, so I like that a lot better already. Why did they make it so blurry? It bothers me a lot. It's Luke. Like, the we want to see him. Everybody's, like, squinting because they're like, is he, are my eyes giving out? He's blurry. Uh, now that his face is a little sharper, I feel like his color's a little off and the shadows are a little off. The next easiest thing to fix, we're going to go ahead and just levels. I know. See, I'm also attacking his backlight there. So... I'm going to grab it from the output end. I don't usually use it that way, but I think that's a better fix for his shadows. So that's the limitation. Um, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, when I brighten his face, it looks great. Um, but when because I'm grabbing his whole face right there, when I darken his face to make the shadows look more realistic, I'm also darkening this natural backlight that would have been behind him to make him stand out from the background. So then he kind of fades in. So we're just going to barely... His eyes already look a little more lifelike because you can see them a little sharper than you could. It's just the way they move right there. So his eyes actually move a lot. See, there's a little twitch right there. And there's another little twitch. Eyes just kind of twitch. Let's see if we can make his eyes twitch. Okay, so let's try and add a twitch in. Just one frame for now. <laughs> uh, so we've got 20 points on this mesh warp here. All right, that's good, but I kind of screw up part of his eye there. I don't want it to be noticeable. I just want to create a jitter where it looks like he's looking. I think, I think it's starting to look a lot better. So here's another spot where his eyes are really dead. They just don't, they just go so long without any kind of movement. So I don't want to mess up any part of it that is actually not his eyeball. Okay, that one's going to take the eye there a little bit. A little too, a little too sharp. I'm not trying to make it look funny. Trying to make him look. Hmm, let's see. Looks lazy. Uh, so we'll see if this improves the shot at all. Um, now that I have screwed up the event pan crop on all of these. What? What did I just do? <laughs> oh, it's because that moves the Bezier masking position. All 
I think that I think that might be better. All right, so tell me what you think in the comments below. Is this better than the original Luke Skywalker? Or is it worse? Um, not the original. Mark Hamill is obviously the best, but uh, it, do you like this um, this version of it better? Or do you like the original better? Uh, or do you think I didn't do anything good to fix it at all? Let me know in the comments below. Man, I really think I really think he does need that brighter light and that sharper look, though. My goodness, it's my time. But I think that does illustrate some nice, fun editing principles here, and uh, that was my goal. And uh, I think I did that quite nicely. So thanks again for watching. Zadam with Tech Dive. I'll see you next time. Tech Dive. Zadam with Tech Dive AV Club. I'll see you next time.